Life's everyday stresses can be quite overwhelming, but instead of dwelling in the dark, try to have a sunnier disposition. I think that way of being just gives you an overall better life. Mindset coach Jennifer Grace is going to teach us some practical happiness hacks to brighten our days. Let's start with the happiness jar. So a happiness jar is a really playful, fun thing that you can do alone. You can involve your children, your partner. Write down a bunch of things that make you smile, fold them up, and put them in the jar. And any time you're feeling sad or depressed, you just pull one out and do it. Stand up comedy, rocking out to an upbeat playlist, or just talking to a hilarious friend are a few examples of what's in Jen's jar and it's a state change, it can shift your mood. Next, set time to worry. The practice is, is when you wake up in the morning and you feel that flood of worry, of anxiety, immediately you set your phone for 8 p.m. and the event says worry time. And for the rest of the day, anytime some type of worry comes flooding back, you have to tell yourself, mm, can't worry about it now because it's not worry time. She says to replace that worry with something you're grateful for, like the roof over your head or having enough food to eat. And then eight o'clock comes, you sit down, the alarm goes off, you have 30 minutes to worry. What is gonna happen is you're gonna start laughing hysterically at the absurdity of sitting down and worrying. At number three, try random acts of kindness. To do something out of the blue, something random, um, there's a generosity to that. When we're all caught up in our dramas and things that are weighing us down, stepping outside of ourselves to do something nice for others makes an impact on both parties. Reach out to a friend who maybe is going through a really, really hard time and we're like, hey, I just cooked a meal for you. If you're feeling generous, give some stuff away to friends or your favorite charity. There is this explosiveness of joy comes through you because you're not thinking about yourself. Finally, do something creative. I think creativity can lead to happiness, especially if we're not a creative. As we grow older, many adults no longer identify with being creative and declare that their finger painting days are over. The studies show that the most creative people on the planet are children. And why? It's because they play all day long. So do something creative and out of the box and a flood of ideas may come through. And of course, then, you know, you're going to be less stressed and happier because you're playing. Expert tips to bring the happiness hacks home is at the top of the list.